I made a vest back. Um, I finished an October vest. So oh, this little vest. <laughs> yeah, I have my little vest, um, which is reversible. Fun oh, fact. Fair. So the whole inside is this pattern. Um, but there's little tulips on it. Um, because I got this yarn, my grandma got it for me in Holland, and so Holland has tulips, so that was my inspiration for it. Um, I am like getting to a point where I have made like a significant amount of my own clothing, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, usually it's not the first thing that I say about myself, but it is something that other people latch on to, which is fine. <laughs> Is that the goal? To make to have all your clothing be made by you? My goal is eventually to have everything either thrifted or made by me, just because like sustainability, um, no transportation. Because you know it takes me a while to make one of these. Um and that like kind of drills home that it doesn't make sense for things like this to be like consumed rapidly and then thrown out. Um and also for the past couple summers I've worked in sustainability um, at a concert venue, which is a very not glamorous job. But it really like opens your eyes to how messed up the um, world is and the environment is. So like if I could not contribute to that, then let me let me do that. So. What is sustainability at a concert venue in Tampa? <laughs> it's so awful. It's literally sorting through the trash into trash, recycling, and compost. Yeah, so you were just the garbage girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be in the garbage but they label it as sustainability so that like <laughs> people do it so people like do it. Um, <laughs> so literally the worst job i've ever had it was so awful um but you know you gotta make a difference in the world i was actually going back and forth on this because like because i make and thrift a lot of my own clothes i'm not really like on trends um because that's another issue but I like my own style and I think the price that matters.